I'm excited to talk to you today about community and why it matters. In particular, reason because my journey into tech was non-traditional, whatever that means. Basically, my job was highly administrative. A lot of repetitive tasks, and I was sitting there thinking, "There's got to be a better way." And so I started googling things, found over Stack Overflow, and effectively embarrassed myself on the platform. But then I learned to ask better questions and gain community. And I learned that I could write scripts to automate processes, and I became addicted. Automate all the things, all of it. I got really ambitious and went for larger projects. And the larger project that I went for happened to be a data automation product. And I learned that I had to tap the CTO. And in turn, to my surprise, he gave me product ownership and a team. And through an iterative process. We landed with a product that was then implemented company-wide. Cut to the Tech Superwoman Summit, the Thought Leadership Summit around diversity in tech in San Francisco, in partnership with my sister Catherine Posey. For our inaugural summit, I was tasked with developing the community and audience around our summit. So I started at home. With the tech inclusion groups meetups right here in Oregon, I started showing up, learning about everything that they were about, learning about their needs. Started bringing gluten-free vegan pizza, which is a requirement in Portland. <laughs> But I started making these honest investments in the community, and in turn, they started investing in me.